good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you are. So my life is looking quite a bit different right now, and I'll bet yours is too. Normally I'd be at school right now, same as you, but we're not. And when things are different, it can be scary. And that's our topic today, is fear. What is it good for? So, is fear actually good for anything? You know, when things are different, like they are for most of us right now, our brain has a very important job. Basically, our brain, when it sees things that are different or new, it says stop, wait, hold on, am I safe? Because some things that are new or different might be really awesome and wonderful, but some things that are different or new, well, they might worry us or make us afraid, and that's okay. There are many things in life that are scary, like the first day of school, or being alone in the dark, or climbing a tall tree, or a ladder, or being up on something really high and looking down, or maybe the neighborhood bully who bothers you when you walk home from school, or maybe listening to your parents fight. Those are all things that can be very scary, and your brain may or may not know what to do with them. So when these things happen, our brain says, wait a second, let's figure this out. So when we feel fear or worry or we're scared, what's happening is our brain is trying to keep our body safe. Fear protects us from things that could hurt us and it also tries to protect us from the unknown. And when you feel afraid, your body feels different. Your heart might beat faster, your stomach might hurt, you might get headaches, your body just doesn't feel right. And when you're afraid for a long time, that can really start to make you feel sad worried in a big way. You might feel like running away or hiding or trying to fight back. And in times like this, you may feel afraid, but you may not know what to run away from or what to hide from or what to attack. There can be a lot of fear in the unknown and that's really scary. So if you are afraid right now of things that are different, of getting sick, of someone you love getting sick, or of things just not being okay and not being normal, well, that's actually okay because it's just your brain's way of trying to tell your body, hey, make sure you're safe. And one thing you can do for yourself is give yourself permission to feel safe. Give yourself permission to seek out safe people, maybe in your house, maybe a friend that you can contact on the internet or online, someone you can chat with, someone you can call on the phone, or find a safe place in your house a place to listen to music, to read a book, to draw, to do some artwork. Art is a wonderful thing to do when you feel afraid and you can't figure out what to do with those feelings. And if we're talking specifically about the coronavirus or things that are happening right now, the truth is there's a lot of things that we may not know about it, but there's also a lot of things that we know about how to keep yourself safe. And if you want to find good, truthful information about the coronavirus, if that's got you scared right now, you can find some links for some videos and some information in the contents of the video. So, fear. What is it good for? Well, it's good for keeping us safe and protecting us. And sometimes that's okay. Sometimes fear is necessary for us to be safe and to be protected. But if you feel afraid for a long time and you can't figure out why, it's okay to write down your thoughts. It's okay to talk to somebody about them. And it's okay to give yourself time to think about it and figure out what you can or can't do about it. And that's okay too. Just remember, you can control a lot about how you respond to fear. And instead of letting the fear control you, you can try to find ways to control the fear.